What's going on YouTube? I'm back with another video. Went to a few places today. Try to see if, if anybody restocked on any type of you know new pops that I might have missed out on. But I didn't uh, really find much. I just few, picked up a few things that I thought I could add to the collection. I just been passing up on basically. So I do have a few pops. Uh, and I actually bought my number one first 10 inch pop. And I'm going to show you that at the end of the video. Stay tuned. We're gonna get started with my first uh, pickup. I went to the Louisiana Mall and went to Hot Topic. Uh, I went to Lunchbox. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I went to Box Lunch. Uh, I, I also went to a GameStop and a toy store that they had. Most places really didn't have much. You know, it's right after Christmas. So it was kind of empty uh, for the most part. I was hoping they might've had some stuff off in the back and maybe they put it out, you know, just to kind of fill their shelves back up after Christmas. But I, re I didn't really find much. So I only picked up a few things that I might've thought, I, I thought I just needed for my collection. Uh, first, we're gonna start off with, I have a couple figures from G.I. Joe. I found this actually in that toy store and uh, they were actually 50% off. Everything in the store was 50% off, so I think I walked in there at the right time to pick up this one. You know? That's the full set. And I also picked up Storm Shadow. I'm sorry, that was Snake Eye if I didn't say so before. And this is his nemesis Storm Shadow. I'm not really feeling this one, man. It's, it's, it, I think the suit should have been all white. So, I'm not really feeling this one too much, but it is part of the set, so I just went on and grabbed it. Also, I went to Lunchbox. I picked up maybe one figure that I actually wanted, and the other, I picked up actually three figures out of this store, so. I picked up only one figure that I actually wanted and the other ones were just ones I was kind of passing up on so I just grabbed them out of the blue and the first one is gonna be zero in duck cart so I'm gonna go ahead and try to fill this entire train I've been seeing them around so I'm just I'm gonna just go ahead and start you know trying to build this train if you want to uh, watch me do that, stay tuned. I also picked up Modoc from Avengers. I really didn't want this guy. He just seemed kind of neat. And I didn't have him in my collection, so I just grabbed him. Impulse buy. <laughs> also, I picked up Yzma. Now this one isn't a bad pop. I just it just really really wasn't one that I was looking for at the times of me seeing it. But since I couldn't find anything else, this is a great buy. And it is the exclusive of the set. So hey, why not, right? Also, stopped by Walmart and had to pick up some groceries. So I decided to stop into their collectible section. And I found another G.I. Joe exclusive, Cobra Bat. Only one I found, it, I, only, only pop that I actually wanted, maybe, I guess, that I found in Walmart. But it's pretty cool, I guess. You know, I love exclusives. So, that's one to add to the collection, I guess. And, to top it all off, I think I passed by Target. Yeah, I was at Target. Really trying to fill my, uh, what are they? Really trying to fill my collection. 
of the Stranger Things. I don't even see this. Oh, there they go. Right behind my... These two right here. I'm trying to fill that collection with the, uh, the, the... I can't remember the name of him. He starts with a D. He's a monster with the, with the flower head. Yeah, but he's in that colorway. I'm hoping they're trying to... I'm hoping they restock on that one because I do want to uh, buy him for retail, not you know, resale price. So, uh... I'm actually looking for him on a on a on a on a regular, going by Target to try to see if he had there to restock him. Um, but yeah, I picked up my first tennis pop today, and pretty cool if I say so myself. You know, Spider-Man movie just came out, so I thought this was the perfect time to add him to the collection. I started to buy him as a you know a regular. Uh, four inch pop three and a half whatever inch pop but i didn't grab them because they were out of stock and i would have had to wait on them so i just canceled the order but i found him today at target mint condition box is perfect normally the ones that i find that i wanted to start off with have some type of defect with the box but this one here is perfect you know i'm actually looking for the uh the crimson cat from the uh, Alice in Wonderland, that's one. That's the one I actually wanted to start off with because that's about the coolest pop I think I've seen. This size, at least, you know, one of them at least. I ain't gonna say the coolest, but one of them. And that is my Funko Pop hunt for the day. That's gonna be the last one of the year. I won't be doing any more this year. I'm gonna start back off on January 1st and see what they restock on the New Year's. Hopefully there's some that something nice, and we'll you know show you those when I get them in. But yeah, uh, y'all have a nice one. Have a happy New Year's and be blessed. Peace.